Hi guys, I wasn't ready. I accidentally hit the live button and I, <laughs> I wasn't all set up yet. Say hi if you're here. <laughs> give me a hashtag replay if you're watching the replay. Um, and give me a hashtag new if you're watching as a new lady because I would love to personally introduce myself and say thank you for watching if you are new um, to my page. Um, and if you're new, then you don't know who I am. My name is Jamie Santor. I'm a top leader in my company and I love me some makeup <laughs> and sharing what I love. Um, if you're tuning on, give me some hearts. That way I know that I'm working, the sound's working, all that stuff. Um, today, hey, 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 Stephanie, uh, if you're tuning on live right now, give me a hashtag, hey, Jamie, in the comments, because <laughs> why not? <laughs> Clever name, you like it? You like it? It's pumpkin spice palate. <laughs> so today, we are going to use this little guy, and I'm going to try my best to recreate the look I did the other day. Um, it was a halo eye, and if you don't know what a halo eye is, um, it is when you have the dark color here, the dark color here, and a light color in the middle. So it's like a halo, right? There's like this bright little patch and everything around is a little bit darker. That is what a halo eye is. So we're going to do that today just for fun. Um, and I have to go to work today, so I only have about an hour. I think we could do it in an hour. <laughs> hi, Brittany. Guys, say hi if you're here. Hearts if you're tuning on, okay? Um, and give me a hashtag, hey, Jamie, if you're tuning on live. Okay. So, first thing I want to do today, this is driving me nuts. We're just going to rip it out. Okay, don't tell anyone I did this. Okay, we're good. Um, I'm going to do my lippy first because I want everyone to be able to tune on to the eye look if they can. So, the lippy I'm going to do is actually a pumpkin spice lippy too. Hey, Brittany. Hey, Lauren. What's everyone doing today? It's a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful Saturday. You're so pretty. Stop. <laughs> um, so... We are going to do my lippy first, and we're going to do a pumpkin spice lippy, okay? Because who the heck doesn't love pumpkin spice, right? I love it. I just wasn't ready for it. But you know what? It's the first day of fall, and I'm ready now. It's windy? Oh, no, Brittany. Okay. So the lippy I'm going to use is this guy right here. It is the only metallic liquid lipstick left. Hi, Michaela. Uh, metallic liquid lipstick left. I don't know how it's left. I don't know how it's sold out, but once it's gone, it's gone, and it's a limited edition. It's called Spry, and it's beautiful. My favorite thing to do is pair it with pouty lip liner, so I'm going to do it like that today and show you how to do it. Hi, Leah. Okay, so first we're going to line my lips, okay? So here we go. I'm sorry I get a little silent when we're, li we're lining lips. It's kind of awkward. <laughs> okay, hold on. Dee, 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 dee. So we're just going back and forth, little like brush like strokey things here. Doo, 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 doo. Doo. So I'm lining the bottom one first. Hi, Kathy. Lining the bottom one first. Going up here. And at any time during this video, if you're interested in anything, just let me know in the comments and I'll message you. Um, but I'm sure most people are going to be interested in this palette. So at any time, if you are like, I want to know more about that palette, I want to know how to get that palette, just give me a hashtag pumpkin spice in the comments. <laughs> I like all these words. They're fun. Okay. <laughs> Keep going here. Doesn't have to be perfect. Um, I just want a little bit of a line, and then I'm going to show you why it doesn't need to be perfect. Especially with anything, I always say this. Anything shimmer or anything um, that's metallic-y, it kind of, like, conceals any imperfections. <laughs> so, like, if you have something matte, it, like, stands out more if there's, like, an error <laughs> or a little bit of a mess up. But if it's shimmery or metallic, you can't tell as much. So, that's why I really love shimmer and metallic stuff. It's, like, you don't have to be super, super perfect, and it can look amazing still. Hi, Dave. Hey, guys. Don't forget to say hi if you're here. Okay. So then I'm going to go in with the Pumpkin Spice Lippy, okay? It's called Spry, by the way. <laughs> um, and we're going to just put it on my lips, and then I'm going to spread it around with the lip brush, okay? I love this little guy. This guy is life, and I actually have the one that's not broken today. Look at this. This is my favorite thing. <laughs> Hi, Megan! Megan, it's lives for you. This is my Pumpkin Spice girl. Okay, ready? Like, what? This is the coolest brush ever. So when it goes in your purse, it doesn't get all over? Okay. <laughs> So I'm going to put this on first here. 
Is that not gorgeous and gorgeous together already? I can't. Okay, this one's like, this one's more moisturizing, the metallic ones. So it spreads really, really, really nice. Okay, and then I'm just gonna kinda put a little more on and spread it in. Yes, pumpkin spice, Megan. Megan, you've had this color on your lips before, I think. And it looks so pretty on you. Okay, so I'm just spreading this all over. Okay, awkward lips are done. <laughs> hey, happy first day of fall, you too. Hi, Brooke. Hi, Jessica. Can I say hi for here? <laughs> and at any time in this video, if you're loving something, if you hit that share button, I will love you forever because that helps me grow too. So anyways, no obligation, but I'll love you forever, okay? <laughs> so the first thing we're gonna do for the eye look is we're gonna put on some eye primer. Um, I did not use this with my eye look the other day and I noticed a difference. I was like sad. I was like, man, I'm shooting myself in the foot. Wish I would've used this. So I'm gonna use eye primer. Yes, it's different than face primer. Um, face primer is more for your foundation, okay? Um, and this is for your eye makeup. It's to make eyeshadow really pop and stay and last all day and it's legit. Anyone that tries it is actually like, oh wow, Jamie, you actually know what you're talking about. <laughs> Sometimes. <laughs> so I'm just spreading this all over. Technically, you're supposed to use this finger because it's like doesn't press as hard. I can't do it. I have to use this middle finger. <laughs> I can't help it. Uh, <laughs> hi, Evelyn. Hi, Jessica. Hi, Sarah. Hey, hey, hey. All right. So I'm spreading this all over my eye. Oh, thank you, Stephanie. It's so sweet. I love you. <laughs> Let me know if you share so I can say I love you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to, I have the eye primer on. And I personally feel eye primer takes a long time to dry. And I don't have time to wait for it. And I don't want to wait for it. So, I might need a clippy, you guys. You guys know how I feel about my clippies. This is okay. I can tuck it behind my ear for now. Um, hey, Jessica. Hey, Danielle. So, the first thing I'm going to do is dry my um, eye primer. <laughs> <laughs> Megan, what are you laughing at? <laughs> she thinks I'm crazy. She knows I'm crazy. <laughs> Hi, Christina. Okay, so this is our Behold Setting Powder, and I like to put it on top of my eye primer to make it dry like this because I don't have time to wait for it, okay? So I'm going to do that really quick. Hi, Megan. Hey, Christina. Okay, and I'm just going to go back and forth with the um, blending brush. Guys, I have had two cups of coffee, and I'm like, lee, 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 lee. and I've had a lot of sleep because I worked 3 to 11 today. So sleep is in my favor and coffee has been in my system. Hi, Elizabeth. So I can't promise my eye looks gonna come out good. I'm like, <laughs> all right, back and forth, back and forth. Back. I feel bad for my coworkers today. They're gonna be exhausted working with me. <laughs> all right, back and forth, back and forth. Okay, so basically you just want it to be dry all over your eyeball and I think it is, I think we did good, good. All right. Now we can start putting this bad boy on. Oh, really? Really? Maybe I'll see her. <laughs> Hi, Courtney. Hi, Hillary. Okay. So, next thing we're going to do is we're going to go in with this bad boy. <laughs> this, pa this pumpkin spice palette. This is different than the one I was using. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Christina. They're from one of my favorite boutiques. I actually am going to do um, a live try on session of their stuff just because um, they didn't ask me to do it or anything. Um, but um, just because. And it's called Lore Boutique. And if you give me a hashtag lore in the comments, I'll add you to their group. I can't help that. I don't know why I sing everyone's name. So they come on and I'm like, hi, Megan. <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> oh, look a little crazy. Okay. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to go in with the crease all over color. Okay. Um, this color right here is called gingerly and it really looks like good with everything. <laughs> it's a really good crease color, but it's really awesome. This pumpkin spice palette. Hi, Amelia. Yeah, you love the earrings? Okay, give me a hashtag lure and I'll invite you to the group. If you're not already in it, you might be because I talk about them a lot. I love them. Anyways, <laughs> so I'm going to go in with this gingerly color and it's going to just kind of go all over in above the crease all over the place. Oh, <laughs> mom life. I love these colors too, Jessica. They're beautiful. Lure, but okay, it's lure, L-U-R-E. But you know what? The way I said it sounded like Laura. Thanks for typing that. Do, do, do. Okay, so I'm like 
bringing it in here I'm going and then I'm gonna go right like here in and above the crease and I'm just gonna start working it in windshield wiper motions back and forth this does not have to be perfect we can clean it up after it's really not that big of a deal okay so do you see how that eye primer is picking up that pigment so nicely you see that amazing amazing hi Deanna you got it Michaela hi Autumn hi Stephanie okay and they have these all the time by the way they have tons of different colors there's like I just ordered a white pair and there's like gunmetal and there's like silver and rose gold there's like a bunch <laughs> that's okay Brittany that's okay <laughs> I really didn't tell you how to spell it so it was me not you okay so I'm gonna go in on the other side of the same color again this color is gingerly and we're gonna go back and forth just in this crease doesn't have to be perfect like I said we clean up after we don't do things perfect the first time we just clean it up because we lazy we lazy <laughs> I do I do I do <laughs> hi Mackenzie so back and forth all over the place okay so this is just kind of the like transitiony color the color that just ties it all together and then we're going to start with this halo eye. And I told you when you first hopped on, right? A halo eye is ba it's basically just like bright in the center and dark on the two outsides. That's it. Like it's that simple. It's really nothing crazy. Um, so that's what we're going to do today. Okay. So first I'm going to go in with the darker color and I'm going to use two colors. Okay. So the first color let's use, okay, guys, I earned this brush for free and it's changing my Okay, wait, I have to show you. Guys, I'm never gonna get my makeup done. Okay, so this is the blending brush and this brush, they must be releasing it, they haven't yet. This brush is called the Fluffy Crease Brush. You guys, what? <laughs> this is the coolest brush. And I was like, why do I need that? I love this brush. No, it's so cool. Do you see the difference? This one's a little smaller. Okay, anyways, so let's go in with this color called Manipulative. It is like, it is like pumpkin spice it's the, it's the pumpkin spice color, like the pumpkin spice color. It's called manipulative. This color, my hair, my hair. Yes, yes, yes. It's like, okay. So my hair is actually a little bit more red, but since it was summertime, it like gets kind of light in the front and then in the fall, it gets a little darker, <laughs> but yes, yes. It's like really, really bright red. Um, but yeah, that's awesome. Brittany. Hi, Danny. Hi, Hillary. So I also haven't washed it in a few days and there's a lot of dry shampoo in it. So we're going in with this manipulative color for real though. And we're just going to go again, like back and forth, but in the crease itself, not really above the crease. Okay. And I'm going to bring it all the way over. I didn't use this brush the first time when I did the look, but cause I didn't have it. I'm going to go all the way over. Okay. Cause we're even going to come over here. Now these pigments pick up so well. Sometimes when I do looks, I wet the pigments. I'm not doing it that this time because A, I have the eye primer on and B, I want it to be like more blendy, blendy sun. Is that a word? That's a word. It is. My transition color, Kelsey, is called gingerly. Gingerly. Hi, Bethany. So I'm just kind of going in and above over here and we can clean this up after so it does not need to be perfect once again, okay? Color manipulate. We're gonna do the same thing over here. Okay. And we're just gonna blend that in. Do, 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 do. Hi Taylor. Hi Alyssa. Put a little more in here. I love this color. Like I'm telling you, it is pumpkin spice, like in a palette. Like this is the pumpkin spice color. Manipulative. I love the names of our shadows. <laughs> Dan always makes fun of them actually. <laughs> but I love them. Uh, so yeah, we are doing a little halo. I'll show you how to make this all pretty after. Do 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 do. Okay. Do you see how we did that? So we've got the transition color. We've got the color that's kind of like the halo. Well, I'm going to go in with one more color for the halo. Okay. Cause I want to make it a little bit darker. Um, so I'm going to go in, you just ordered gingerly Kelsey. That's amazing because it is, it's one of like the most, uh, versatile colors. Like it looks good on pretty much all the palette. 
um, all the palette combinations as a, like a transition color. I've seen it like even other presenters do it like crazy with gingerly. They love it. Hi, Raina. Hi, Courtney. Hey, 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 hey. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into this color right here. This color is called Gullible. And it's just like a matte brown, like a perfect matte brown, not too dark, not too light. And I like it. So I'm going to go into this one. This is the crease brush, okay? And I'm going to do the kind of go over where I went with that manipulative color, but a little less. Me too. See? See? <laughs> Happy Saturday, Courtney. Courtney, I got yesterday, or I got tomorrow off. I didn't tell you that yet. I just found out myself. <laughs> okay, anyways. All right, so I'm going to go and in the crease hold on I need a little more I need a little more in the crease and I'm just gonna make the halo a little darker here okay you guys are probably thinking this girl is nuts this eye look looks horrible I'm telling you it'll come together it'll come together yay right hi Belinda hi Nikki hey hey so I'm gonna do the same thing over here just darkening up this halo a little bit Okay, I'm keep going over here. I'm just darkening it up. I'm gonna go over again with that manipulative color and kind of blend it all in after, okay? Okay. Okay, okay. I might need a clippy. This is getting crazy. It's getting nuts. Okay, I don't know how any girl does their makeup with the hair on the face. It drives me nuts. I can't handle it, you guys. Can't. Okay, so. <laughs> all right. I think we've got it dark enough over here. I think this side's a little darker though. I should put it a little more over here. Okay. So, your favorite palette is Pumpkin Spice. So pretty. So pretty. It kind of looks good with anything too, right? I think so. I was going to wear like a cute fall outfit, but this ring light here, it like projects all the heat and then I sweat to death and die. So I was like, no. <laughs> Hi, Kelly. I thought about it though. Okay, so I'm going to go back in and I'm going to kind of blend that out with that fluffy crease brush. And the color manipulative is kind of already on it. So that's what we're going to do. And that's just kind of making our halo look a little more together. A little more put together. Okay. Do, 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 do. do you see how it just looks so blended and nice now? Right. Hi, Rebecca. Do, 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 do. I wish Facebook would allow me to have some music. I could get some jams going for you guys. Nope, Facebook is evil and it hates me. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna actually put the like part that makes it a halo, right? The center color. And you want that color to be really bright and pop, okay? So, I am going to use the color, this is my favorite, I think this is my absolute favorite eyeshadow color because it's just perfect on everything you can use okay I'm gonna show you really quick you can use it for it because it's the best color it's called optimistic <laughs> and you can put your finger in it here okay you can just use your finger with this color it's beautiful hi Stephanie you can use it here okay if that's not gorgeous I don't know what it is I already had some highlighter on and this just took it to a whole nother level like it's a beautiful cheek color gorgeous like you see how this side like it had a little on but it's nothing crazy and this side's like bam so I'll put it over here, okay? You can do that with it. You can put it on your nose right here. It makes me pretty, 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 pretty. And then you can put it here on your cupid bow, okay? Those are things you can do with that color. It's amazing. It's a great, like, you know how the pretty, we're gonna put a little in the corner by my eye in a minute too. You know how like, you see like a pretty eye look and it's got that bright color in the like corner of the eye? That's a good color for it, okay? So, if there's one color you have to get. <laughs> out of a shadow palette optimistic is it like for every single one i'm not even joking so let's go in with optimistic on my lid to make that like center color like pop okay so i'm actually going to let's see what it looks like let's see what it looks like by itself and then we'll wet it if we need to hi amy hi, hi, hey i really wish i brought a water over here i'm thirsty <laughs> it's fine <laughs> you just ordered this one too like great minds kelsey great minds Hi, Tony. All right, so I think I might want to wet it. I really like how wetting it pops. Hold on, I'll show you what I'm talking about. Or do you think that we're good with this? It's just like this. What do you guys think? I actually think I like it like this. We're not gonna wet it. I like it. I think it looks good. You can't have music? Hold on, let me see if I can actually press the see more button. 
Oh, it lets me now. It didn't let me the other day. That's so exciting. I don't know because Michaela, sometimes people still have issues and then I'm worried it'll delete my Facebook Live and I just got ready for nothing, you know? It's one of my faves too. It's one of my faves too. Okay. I think I like it. I think I like it without even wetting it. Yeah. Do you see what I'm talking about with the halo? You see how it's like bright in the center and then it's like dark around like a halo, right? Okay. Let's do this eye and then we'll make the look come together here. I promise it. I promise it. Do, 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 do. Okay. Do you see what I'm talking about? It's not all together yet, but you see how it's a halo, right? I'm not crazy. Give me some hearts if you think I'm, well, I, you, you guys know I'm crazy, but give me some hearts if you think I'm making sense here. Hi, Carrie. Carrie, did you get your other mascara? Hi, Julie. Hey, hey. Julie, are you working today? I haven't seen you in 1,200 years. <laughs> oh, I'm making sense. Thank goodness. <laughs> Does that happen every day? Okay. So now that I have the like majority of my look going on here, what I want to do, I want to put a little bit of that color in the corner of my eye, like I said, right? It's not even done. Like this is not done. <laughs> this is not together yet. Um, hi, Rhonda. I'm going to take that optimistic color again, and I'm going to go in with this little tiny brushes. Guys, am I still here? I got a phone call. Why? Leave me alone. <laughs> no one calls me. They know better. They know I'm not going to answer. Uh, <laughs> uh, oh, good. Oh, good. Well, I wish I would have saw you, Julie, but hi, Angela. Okay. <laughs> Am I still here? Am I still working? Sorry, guys. I got a phone call. I'm just putting a little bit of this like fun, bright color in the corner of my eye to make that pop a little over here. Do you see? Do you see how it pops? And now it doesn't over here. Am I still here? Someone tell me I'm still here. Good Lord. God darn phone calls. Like, don't call me. Be a normal person and text me, I always say. <laughs> what are you calling me for? Uh. <laughs> Yay, Stephanie. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Hi, Megan. Uh. <laughs> I need a little more over here. This color. And then we'll blend this all in together a little bit. I love, do you see how that just makes your corner of your eye pop? Like it just does so much to your eye look. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go back over with <clears throat> this fluffy crease brush and kind of blend this all in. And then I'm gonna go back over with the blending brush and kind of blend that all in. And then we're gonna clean it up and we're gonna put some color underneath here, okay? So I'm going back into this fluffy brush here and just kind of blending the look in a little more. So these corners are like blended out a little bit and they're not so harsh. Okay, do you see what I mean? Do you see how it's like a little bit better now? Not so harsh. It's supposed to be a little harsh. It's not supposed to be perfectly blended anyway, but you want it to be a little less harsh. Okay, so we're just blending these corners out a little bit, going in. Okay. Do you see, isn't that cool looking? Like I think, it, like I wish you could see in person, it's way cooler. Anyways. So I'm gonna go back in with the fluffy brush now, the crease or the blending brush, Jamie. I don't know the names of your brushes today. And I'm just gonna kinda blend this a little bit too. And then we'll clean it up. <laughs> okay. I got a voicemail. I think it's my car dealership actually. They usually send follow-up um follow-up calls. I don't know why. Just send me an email. Anyways, so now I'm going to clean this up now that I kind of just stand making. <laughs> Do you hear the blender? <laughs> don't know what he's making. Anyways, <clears throat> hi, Amy. I am going to clean this up now, okay? My favorite way to clean up an eyeshadow look is just with my pressed powder that I already had on my face. So I'm going to do that, and I always use this brush, you guys. It's literally like $3. It's an e.l.f. brush. It's called the e.l.f. C brush. It, it's so old, I don't even have the name on it anymore. And it's cheap, so the name comes off really easy. <laughs> so, okay, I'm just going to clean up my eyeshadow look, and then we will complete this look, I promise. I promise. I'm just going to go and I'm going to take the powder and kind of like mimic where my brow is. You see, I'm going to like take from the corner of my eye up to my brow to make it look a little bit more like, I don't know, defined like it should look, right? So that's the first thing I'm going to do. And then I'm going to take the same shadow again and I'm just going to kind of go up here. And I'm just going to kind of 
blend it out a little bit just so it looks a little softer up here okay do you see how we did that do you see how this color this eye just looks more put together already like it looks cleaned up and this eye kind of looks like a hot mess that's my favorite trick to do i always do that same thing over here our press powder is just amazing i think i love our press powder they were thinking about getting rid of our press powder forever because they came out with a new one and i actually had a heart attack not actually but i had a panic attack a little bit i was like what do you, what do you mean what i need to buy them all i need to buy every single one on the website <laughs> i was freaking out because i couldn't handle it and then enough people complained they brought it back thank god <laughs> so i'm just cleaning this up over here again do, do, do. hi leela i'm just gonna come down over here a little bit with it too just want it cleaned up i want it to look more together and like I know what I'm doing with my eyeshadow, but really I just know how to clean it up. <laughs> okay, so this is complete. We're gonna put a color underneath, and I also want to show you one really awesome thing that I didn't show you when I was showing you this awesome optimistic color. Um, this color right here, optimistic, that we use like all over my face. You can actually use it underneath your eyebrow too to make your brow bone pop. I love this color. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna use that same brush that we use to clean up my um shadow with. I'm just gonna show you. You can use your finger too, by the way. You don't have to use a brush. How pretty it is underneath your eyebrow. Pretty. Is that pretty or what? Do you see it? Do you see how it pops? Do, 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 do. Hi, Emily. Hi, Haley. Am I saying that right? Is it Haley or Hallie? Because I'm really bad with that name. I always want to say Hallie or Haley, and it's Hallie. Usually, that's my mess up. Don't let me say your name wrong. Don't let me do it. I don't like when people say my name wrong. I've gotten Jamai. I've gotten Jami. My name's Jamie. Like, it just doesn't have an E. I don't... <laughs> I didn't think it was that complicated. But it is. <laughs> so, now we're going to do an under eye color because I always like to do underneath my eye. What time is it? It's okay. We're doing good. Um, I'm going to go in first with Gingerly, I think. And I'm going to probably put a few colors underneath. This is what I do. And I'm going to go back and forth with this crease brush a little bit. It's kind of like smoking it out. I think that's what I love about this crease brush is it kind of makes it look just like smoky and put together. Really? It's Michaela, isn't it? <laughs> isn't it? Am I saying that wrong? Hi, Linda. I think so. <laughs> so I'm just going back in gingerly again. Keeping it tight to my waterline. Okay. And then I'm gonna go in another color. I'm thinking I'll do manipulative now. I'm saying it right, okay, thank goodness. I mean, I don't feel like that's a hard one, but you know, you never know. And then I'm gonna take just a little tiny bit of the dark color, the gullible, the brown, and put it on the corners here. Hi, Steven, over here. Yay! And then if at any time you think that you like brought the color too far down, I always just take, again, the pressed powder. I use the pressed powder to clean up everything, I swear to you. Um, in this foundation brush, take a little pressed powder and I'll just go underneath like so and clean it up if I think I like brought it down too far or anything. Okay, now let's finish this. So now that we have the color on my eyeball, this is what it looks like without eyeliner or anything, which I think always looks crazy. I think your eyeshadow, I think people get scared of doing their eyeshadow because they don't see it completed. If you see it with the eyeliner and the mascara and everything, you'll be like, oh, well, okay, that looks pretty good. Same thing with eyebrows. Like if you have your eyebrows done, but you don't have your eye makeup done, it almost looks weird. <laughs> okay. So you like have to have the whole thing going on to not look like a crazy person. So let's finish it, shall we? I am going to use our eyeliner. I used um, the brush to clean up my eyeshadow, the, like right here. Is that what you mean? Yes. No, maybe. Okay. So the one to clean up underneath my eye, I used the foundation brush that we have. And then the one to clean up my eyeshadow, I used the e.l.f. I think it's called the C. E.l.f. Eyeshadow C brush, but it's so old. I don't have the name on it anymore. It's like literally $3. Hi, Carly. Some of these are dip and draw liner. Sometimes this can be disaster live, so I'm sorry in advance. <laughs> We'll do our best. Um, and our dip and draw is like, can you hear it? Look, I shake it up. Shake, 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 shake. Okay. And you literally, that's, it's what it is. You dip it in 
and then you draw it on little brush like strokes okay so we're gonna use that and we're gonna do a wing eyeliner maybe <laughs> no we'll do it it's gonna be great um but sometimes I just suck doing eyeliner live I don't know why you guys <laughs> So I'm just going to, you're not supposed to do this, but I'm going to do it. I'm going to take this like this. You're not supposed to do this because it causes wrinkles, but it's fine. I'm going to get right down close and start in the center. Okay. And little brush like strokes, you guys. Close to your um, lash line. Okay. Oh, see, I already messed it. Like how does one already mess it up? It's fine though. What I like to do is I go in with this little tiny brush that I used earlier. I'll literally just put some eyeshadow over it and it'll be fine. Okay, it's gone. See? Easy. Back in. Colored lipstick, Angela. I am actually wearing um, Spry Liquid Lipstick. I'll message you the details if you want. Um, it's limited edition. It's not, I don't think it's going to be around for much longer, especially with the pumpkin spice season. There's no way. Like, I can't believe it's lasted this long. I'm still shocked over it. <laughs> um, but yeah, so little brush like strokes to get down close. This is called Perfect, by the way. Um, down right close, okay? So then I'm going to make the wing part, okay? So we're going to go, hi, Ashley. We're going to go, and we're going to take a line, okay, from the bottom right here, like our water line is a little bit, okay? And we're going to draw up towards our brow. So there's the line, okay? Then I'm going to bring it back into the eyeliner, okay? So I'm going to take that line. I hope you can see trying my best to let you be able to see. I'm going to bring it back in. Okay. Do you see how there's like a fill in the like, you have to like fill it in like it's a little triangle that then you did it right. Okay. And then you just fill it in. It's that little triangle. That's what you want. Okay. And we're going to go back and kind of like spruce it up a little bit in a minute okay because I'm not done <laughs> hi Tim how's it going <laughs> um so for now we're gonna leave it as that okay that's gonna be our like base over here usually I kind of like I, I, I like to make it a little bit darker a little crazier you don't have to do that okay <laughs> you do not have to make it dark and crazy um I'll show you so let's do the other side let's see if we can complete the other side okay we're gonna start in the center here right close to your lash line, little brush-like strokes, okay? Do, do, do. Eyeliner is a serious business, you guys. Maggie's barking at something. Okay, so right down close, and that's all you can do if you want. You don't have to do wings and stuff like that. We're going to do a wing. So I don't know. I see my eye looks without wings, and I'm like, eh, I just don't love it without a wing. Like, it doesn't look as cool to me. <laughs> so I'm going to do a wing. Okay, so I keep, I, what I keep doing is just keep dipping it in and taking it out, dipping it in. Hi, Emily, and taking it out um, because that's what it is. It's a dip and draw, and you're supposed to do that, and it's waterproof. It's amazing. So here we go. Again, you're taking a line. And bring it up like you would to your eyebrow okay hi Julie and then you're gonna draw it back in to your eyeliner that you already have okay so we're gonna do so we're taking I'm trying to stay on the screen here <laughs> okay do you see that and again we've got that little like fill in the um, triangle part right Hi, Amber. Hey, guys. Okay, so I'm just filling it in now. And then we're going to complete it. Hi, Leslie. Okay, so obviously I don't love my winged eyeliner. I'm going to fix it now. So I'm going to show you how to do that. So since I like, I'm kind of messy when I do my wings, I guess. Um, and I just keep fixing it. <laughs> um, so here we go. I'm gonna go and I'm gonna take from here 
I'm gonna fill it into here, okay? Because you see how it's like missing that? And then I'm gonna do it again, okay? That's looking a little better. Oh, thank you, Tim, thank you. <laughs> Hi, Leslie. Okay, and then I'm gonna just kind of thicken it up over here and then we're gonna clean it up and I'm gonna show you how to do all that, okay? And then I promise we'll complete this look. I promise it, you guys. But wings take a lot of work, okay? So don't be mad if you don't get an awesome wing on your first try. Sorry for the silence. Sometimes I need silence, you guys. Peace and quiet and silence to do my makeup. Like sometimes when I'm doing my wings, <laughs> Dan comes in the room and I'm like, go, just go. <laughs> He's like, okay, sorry, sorry I intruded. <laughs> All right, so the first thing I wanna do is I'm gonna brush, hi Lisa, I'm gonna brush up my eyelashes here. Just to get all the like excess gross stuff off of them. Okay. That's the first thing I'm going to do. The next thing I want to do is grab this little guy here. And do, 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 do. hold on. Got it. Do you guys see my leggings? They're unicorn leggings. I look all put together up here, but then you see my unicorn leggings. <laughs> okay. So I'm just going to take this little brush again and kind of clean up my wings a little bit. Be great. <laughs> oh gosh I'm just cleaning up this wing a little bit I don't even know where that eyeshadow went literally I think it's under my dresser somewhere guys there's probably Mackie hair all over it that is disgusting okay <laughs> and the next thing I want to do is just cl clean up this you see how this is like it's a little bit I don't know thicker than the other side I'm just gonna go in with the eyeshadow that's there and cover it up a little bit You see how that like kind of like makes it even? You see what I'm saying? See what I'm saying? Okay. And the next thing I'm gonna do is tight line my um, eyes here and we'll do some uh, mascara. Hi, Brooke! What time is it? We got time, you guys. I'm all right. Except I lost my eyeshadow. It's literally, I don't know where it went. No idea. <laughs> okay, so I'm going in with pencil eyeliner. If you guys do not know this, you do not want to use a uh, liquid eyeliner on your waterline in any way. You don't want to use it to tight line. That's going to make your eyes burn and you're going to hate me forever. So you're going to use um, actual pencil inside your eye, okay? And this is just going to tie in the whole entire look, especially if you go up here and you um, really tight line. Okay, do you see how that just ties it all in? Hey, Brooke. Hi, Lisa. So when you are doing your eye makeup, again, if you're just doing the wing on top or whatever, you might think it doesn't look like really great, but maybe if you just complete the look with your pencil eyeliner inside your eye, you'd be like, oh, okay, yeah, that looks legit. You see the difference? This just looks put together, doesn't it? Okay, so we're gonna go in, tight line up here, okay. This might take you a little time to perfect, okay? Some people can't stand it when I do this live. <laughs> Hi, Lisa. Um, but it's okay, guys. Back and forth. Okay. And then we're just gonna put some mascara on, you guys. I am going to use today, guys, I'm really upset about my, my splurge cream shadow that's somewhere, I don't even know where it went. Hi, Sarah. We're gonna use the waterproof mascara today. I think we shall, right? And I'll use fibers with it too. I'll show you how to use it with the fibers, okay? I've got about 20 minutes. We got this. <laughs> okay, so the waterproof mascara is legit, friends. Okay, it's legit. It doesn't go anywhere. It's not messing around. I just want you to know that before you get it, it's not messing around. It's amazing, but it's not messing around. So, First off, I'm just gonna go coat my lashes with the waterproof mascara. This is Epic, it's called Epic. Epic waterproof mascara. Do, 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 do. And doing your mascara just ties your entire look together, you guys. I can't even describe it. 
just ties it all the way. It works great, right, Rain? Like, it doesn't go anywhere. It's not messing around. It's not messing around. It's not. This is legit. It's serious. <laughs> Has anyone not tried the waterproof? If you haven't tried the waterproof, you have to tell me in the comments. Say, Jamie, I have not tried the waterproof mascara. I know a lot of people have, though, because it's legit. <laughs> or tell me if you don't like waterproof mascara, because some people don't like it. Understandable. It's not as easy to come off because it's waterproof. I'm just coating my lashes with the waterproof. I'm going to do two coats of it, and then I'm going to put some fibers on top. I'm going to show you how to do the fibers with the waterproof. Because you can use them together. You don't have to use them together. You can use them separate. You don't have to use the fibers at all with this. I think a lot of people get confused. You do not have to use fiber with um, our Epic Mascara. You just ordered it, Leslie? Oh, girlfriend. You are going to love it. I like to put mascara on my bottom lashes here. Back and forth, back and forth. Okay, over here too. Guys, I already have mascara up here. It's okay, I'll show you how to get rid of it. I feel like this mascara, it it's even better than our original Epic because it's wetter. <laughs> that makes any sense at all. It's wetter. Like it's, it's wet. Like, so like if you're not careful, you can get it on your eyelashes or your um, eyeshadow, which I'll show you how to take off easily. But it's, it's weird. Like I can't describe it. Like it goes on even smoother because it's so wet. Danny, what did you say? Hold on. Oh, I love that I can see the see more now. <laughs> Oh, you did? Oh, well, Danny, the normal Epic is amazing, too. Um, I actually use the normal Epic every day for work. I have been. Um, just because it comes off easier. And I don't care what I look like for work. Today, I'm going to look pumpkin spicy for work, you guys. Fun! I don't know why I needed to sing that. So this is just two little coats of our Epic Mascara. And you can keep going until you're blue in the face with it. It doesn't matter. I don't think it gets clumpy, personally. Um, to each their own. You can brush up, you can go on the back of your lashes even. If you have a clumpy, you take it out by going like up and then brushing back down, if that makes sense. If that makes sense. Hi, Melissa. Okay. I love this halo eye, guys. It's fun, right? It's fun. I'm digging it. All right, so now I'm gonna show you how to mix in the fibers if you so desire. You do not have to, but if you so desire, okay? Um, sometimes I'll use the gel from the 3D Fiber Lash Mascara, but um, usually I don't. Oh, thank you, Melissa. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We did a pumpkin spice eye look today. Pumpkin spice and everything. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, so I'm gonna show you how to mix in the fibers if you so desire. So first off, you wanna make sure the fibers have something to stick to. So if you don't already have a fresh coat of the mascara on that eye of the like the entire eyelashes, do that. So we're gonna do that first, okay? So eyelashes, fresh coat of mascara on top. So it has something to really stick to, okay? Then I personally like them a little bit chunky. It's just my style. Um, so I'm gonna take it out, the fibers wand, and just go right on top, okay? I like them chunkier, it's just me. If you don't like them chunky, you can roll the fiber wand on the back of your hand, okay? But I like them chunky, it's just what I like, it's just me, okay? So if you don't like them chunky, take it here and on the back of your hand, okay? Hi, Jackie! So, same thing over here. Gonna just go, do, 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 do. Nice fresh coat so it has something to stick to. Okay, and fibers on top. Again, I like them chunky. I guess you could say I like it more, like really thick lashes, like I like that, rather than the thin skinny ones, but everyone's different, okay? You can even go on the back of your lashes if you want a little more thicker. Okay, do you see already like what the fibers did to the mascara? Like it just made my whole eye look look boom, right? Again, you don't have to use the fibers, I love them. <laughs> I love them. Hi, Kristen. Hey, hey, hey. But yeah, so in a second, after the fibers are kind of like attached to my eyelashes a little bit, I'll go back over with the um, waterproof and I'll seal them in, okay? So basically it's just waterproof, fibers, waterproof. That's it. I love, I love this mascara together. Like I love it. <laughs> um, but while I'm waiting for it to just kind of stick there, like I like it to dry a little bit, 
on my lashes itself, I will go fix um, the little mascara boo-boos I have, okay? So right here is a little bit of mascara, and I have this color gingerly up there, so I'm just gonna take where I have that color gingerly and blend it out, okay? Okay. And then go over here and do the same thing, okay? And that's gone now, it's literally gone. <laughs> Since I brought it up a little too high, I can go back over with my pressed powder like I did earlier. Okay, and just do, 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 do. And it's gone. Literally gone. Gone. I have a little tiny, tiny, tiny bit right here in my eye. Do you see it? Again, go in with the color that is there. The color that is there is this optimistic color. Okay, I'm just going to go over the color that's already there. And that's gonna take it away. It's literally gone forever, you guys, okay? There's even, I literally have it all over my eye today. Don't ask me why, it's because I'm live, that's why. <laughs> uh, same thing over here, the little bit of this color. Okay, it's gone. Like, it's such an easy fix, you guys. Such an easy fix. Mascara is gone from my eyeball. So don't ever stress if you get it on your eye. Like, it's fine. I'll clean it up after. So now that the fibers are like attached to my eyeballs for a little bit, I'm going to put on the last coat of the Waterproof Epic Mascara time we got we're good 217 I could change for work and we'd be good okay so I'm going to just brush it up here again I like them thick so if you don't like this look that's all right you can make them thinner I just like them thick it's my jam these look like aren't those like bang I got no eyelashes you guys Every time I put this on, I'm like shocked. I'm literally shocked every single time. Like it never gets old. Never ever. Brushing them up. This is just sealing all the fibers in so they don't fall on your face all day long. And I always say this too, if you really wanna make sure they don't fall on your face and you wanna curl your lashes even more, which this Epic curls your lashes anyway. Like it curls it by itself. You actually don't need, um, you don't need to have a lash curler with Epic Mascara because it curls and it lengthens and it's pretty crazy mascara. But anyways, um, if you want them curled even more, you can take the blow dryer on a low setting and just kind of blow dry up your eyelashes and like let them sit there for a little bit. I do that all the time, <laughs> okay? I love that trick. I'm not doing it today because we have to like move locations for that and I don't feel like doing that right now. Um, but just so you know, it's a really awesome tip. I love that tip. Guys, what do you think about this eye look? Do you like it? I think it looks really good with this lippy. What do you guys think? Tell me. I'm gonna just stand here so you can see it for a second. Yay, nay, give me some hearts if you like it. Um, I think I'm, I'm digging it. I think I did pretty good. I think I tried to match it the best I could to the, um, the first one, I think so. <laughs> I did the best I could, you guys. You love it, Melissa? Thank you, me too. Give me some hearts if you guys love it. I love it. I have to go back through and invite people to my boutique I love that sells these earrings. I gotta do, I have lots of work to do, you guys. Thank you for the hearts. You guys are the best. You know what I'm gonna go do now? I'm gonna tune off of here. I'm gonna go find my darn pressed shadow or my splurge cream shadow. It literally, I don't know where it is. It's literally went under my, under my dresser somewhere. What? I drop everything during my lives, you guys. <laughs> All right, so A, I just wanna say thank you for tuning on. B, if you have ever considered doing what I do you want to do this you want to be crazy like me you want to be the crazy makeup lady shoot me a message or just type in the comments presenter and I will message you more information um I know a lot of people don't know what I do or they're interested in what I do and I would love to chat with you about it okay no pressure I'm not a pressury person okay anyways guys thank you again so much for tuning on happy Saturday enjoy your first day of fall and I love you all bye